Um, I haven't been um, on social media so often in the last two or three months, but I'm forced by circumstances uh, just to respond to yet another um, comment that was made by the Honorable um, De Beer of the UIM this morning on his live show after uh, the rampage that had happened the other night um, on the international network and I responded and yes as expected um, we got a response this morning um, which is nothing strange but what I'm about to say I'm saying uh, reserving my rights without prejudice uh, strictly reserving my rights without prejudice as a result of the threat that's been made by um, little the beer uh, this morning on his live show um, and it's becoming a laughing stock at the end of the day because um, what we are said we will not retract um, and we stick to our guns um, and I specifically want to refer to a comment that is made um, about myself referring to me as a flabbergasted idiot um, he also said in um, the statement and I don't know who he refers to um, where, you know, people that are drunkards and using drugs uh, must come clean. Now, I challenge um, Neil De Beer, uh, if he refers to me or to advocate um, Wesley Barnard, that he must um, prove um, whether he's referred to us um, or whether he's not, because I haven't touched drugs in my life and, uh, other than having an injection for my shoulder or for an injury and the same applies to uh, Wesley Barnard um, which called me this morning um, and he said that we must ask Neil De Beer the question um, he must provide proof if he referred to us but be that as it may um, and I just want to refer to the aspect of an idiot um, which is quite strange um, because only an idiot will appoint an idiot um, and I was appointed um, by Neil De Beer into the UIM um, as the head of strategy and policy making so I don't know whether he is uh, referring to me as an idiot because I don't think that um, it will only be an idiot that appoints another idiot um, into any initiative especially in a strategic position that uh, he referred to um, and I just want to thank him for, for praising me on a number of occasions. Um, I didn't realize that someone would praise someone else um, that's uh, now suddenly been called an idiot and um, his followers uh, that's just hanging on to his lips. Um, so I don't believe what he said is the truth. And yes, um, he's more than welcome to... Um, uh, utilize the court and the legal processes as he threatened once again um, to utilize the Poppy Act and I welcome that because uh, there's also other acts uh, that we can refer to um, referring to the Access to Information Act uh, the Bahia Act and of course uh, through the Criminal Procedures Act uh, referring to Article 205 and why I'm saying that is that I challenge Neil De Beer to utilize his rights and his rightful, uh, uh, it's his responsibility to, to utilize the Poppy Act um, to gather information specifically in the regard to the voice recording which was subsequently changed allegedly by him um, and he said it's been changed and it's been abused and, and chopped and changed and, and everything so let's not look at the person that's spreading it um, let's look at the source thereof uh, the person that he spoke to is Warren Schultz. He's, he's co-director in the UIM. So that's the source. So let's go and look at the source, the discussion which he had with Warren Schultz referring to white people um, that he wants nothing to do with him. So is, is there some problem between Neil and Warren Schultz that, um, that, was, that we need to look at? Because it's Warren Schultz that sent it out, which is his co-director. And then someone took that voice recording and added f uh, pictures and whatever the case may be. So the content uh, that was shared onto social media months ago, and yes, it is months ago, but it, it keeps popping up, um, similar, similar to his history. 
uh, within the ANC. He blames the ANC uh, for everything that goes fault, but he was in the ANC. He was within the Tripartite Alliance. He was with um, leaders that's communists. Um, he was trained by the communists and the KGB, as he rightfully referred to this morning. Um, and he's not scared. Um, and he's a military expert. Um, and he's an advisor to the Minister of Defense. Um, we must just ask ourselves, uh, why is the military in South Africa um, the way it is currently? Um, maybe um, they had an idiot referring them or uh, advising them. And I'm just asking the question, um, because he said that he was uh, advising the Minister of uh, the Military uh, or the Ministry. Um, so I'm just asking these questions. Uh, but we haven't asked all the questions. Um, I would love to ask him whether ACT is security initiative, whether it's CIRA registered, because we were looking um, on the internet, we can't find it. But we saw that there's a lot of funds that came through to ACT from donations. Um, so yeah, we must also ask whether the staff are registered with CIRA, because that's, if that's not the case, uh, it's a violation of the law. Uh, we also heard Neil De Beer stating that he's the president of, of a bank. Uh, we asked, where's the bank? Uh, where is the bank? Uh, what is the license? Where is it registered? Uh, we noticed that he is uh, the president of an investment fund. So there's a huge difference between an investment fund and a bank. Um, he must just give us clarity on that as well. Um, so basically what happens, um, and I've just had a look this morning at, at the website, um, they fund, they're funding, debt funding. So they've got a funder on the one side and they've got an African country that seeks funding. So they're brokering the deal. Uh, that's not a bank, um, according to my understanding. So there's one or two questions that needs to be answered. And, you know, in the beginning, it was also said that the UIM is providing their membership for free. And suddenly it's, it's becoming a begging contest. So, you know, as a president of a bank, why doesn't he fund everything himself? Uh, which he initially said that he's doing. Um, now pleading with people for donations. Uh, maybe the person that's guiding him um, must maybe just change their strategy uh, that they don't utilize the Barack Obama model uh, to assist him. And also the person that has won all these awards um, making presidents, uh, we must maybe ask that person what is happening because we know uh, we had the meeting and Zoom meetings with him and this in terms of the Poppy Act um, is fine, uh, let it become known. Um, we are not scared of that because um, I refer and I reiterate what I've said, he's a blatant liar. Um, in one case he said that his CEO now is a lawyer, he's not a lawyer. Um, so it's another lie. Um, when he said that I was vehemently removed uh, from the UIM, it's another lie. Um, so it was the, the man code was dissolved. As I said, it wasn't a registered entity. Um, the UIM, once again, is a non-profit company. Now we need to go and look at how many non-profit companies has uh, the BR got involved over a period of time. It's public notice. Uh, let's go look at CPRO um, and see how many of them are still in existence um, and how many has been liquidated. Um, one of our colleagues has the information. Uh, we also need to ask in court, um, should this uh, matter go to court, whether um, Neil De Beer in fact has got a criminal record because he made that by his own public statement, said that he's got a criminal record which dates back to the apartheid days. Now we want to ask ourselves whether it's an act within the apartheid days or was it a cr criminal act outside of the apartheid days but during those days. Um, and, and, and we understand that there was cases in Mowbray and in, in Feliersdorp and that's public knowledge. If it's gone through a court, it's a public document. There's no hidden agenda about it. Uh, you can't get access to a person's information without their consent. Um, that's definitely the truth. But if a case has gone through a court, it's a public document. You can go through the courts and get the information uh, to prove to the South African public whether you're a criminal or whether you're not a criminal. Um, and that's for the courts to decide. Um, but the mere fact that Neil said that the so-called voice message, which has been 
uh, reoccurring on social media, he must ask himself, why is it reoccurring? Why does he always refer to other leaders of other political organizations and they keep quiet? Now he expects us as individuals to keep quiet when he attacks us uh, in our absence. Um, I've taken the decision to leave him because it's, it's, it's not even worthwhile speaking about Neil De Beer because he's a non-entity. Um, and when he said that I'm an idiot, um, it's strange, uh, you know, that an idiot has been used by all the ministers, um, as a matter of fact, 12 government departments, research companies, um, and when it's research companies, I'm not an economist, I'm not a president of a bank, I'm not the Donald Trump of America, um, I'm just ordinary Johanna Rousseau, um, that has been utilized by research companies like Centric, Finmark Trust, Whom Owns Whom, uh, that's companies that advises um, the Minister of Treasury, which is the economics of the country. It's just quite strange that government would head on an idiot to write the laws uh, for South Africa. Uh, even though there's thousands of lawyers um, out there, there's advocates, there's legal uh, practitioners out there. Why would government do that? And I'm not trying to boost myself um, and, and having a fishing competition between myself and Neil De Beer because he's not relevant in my life and um, he's trying to impress people um, uh, through uh, social media. He's more than welcome to have a debate with me. I've said it yesterday, I'm saying it again. He has my telephone, phone me. Um, I'm, I, I'm not interested in getting into a social media fight with him because I'm just giving him airtime um, and giving him more footage and time to respond to um, and all the views that we're getting referring to the beer um, it's not even my intention to discuss it, but I will not tolerate that myself or any un well, uh, some, anyone else is being blamed for something which is not the truth. Um, and he's a blatant liar um, because he has made the comments that he has, the uh, voice, so-called voice messages has been adjusted. If it has been adjusted, it must have been adjusted by his fellow colleague and his fellow director, Warren Schultz. Um, uh, I don't know why um, Neil always shows Warren Shields' photo with a six-pack on men's health magazine. I think it impresses him. Um, it doesn't impress me um, at all. Um, I don't know why he does that. And, and we must ask the question, why did Warren Shields share that message with myself and other people? Um, is there some problem between the two gentlemen uh, which we're not aware of? Um, it's questions that need to be asked, but a court will be able to, to provide that through us, uh, through to us, so they can track and trace it, um, and also track and trace everything else, because um, I might just say, as Mike Bollis has said the other day, if you've got someone's phone, uh, you can have a lot of information, because this is the heartbeat of information nowadays, um, especially if it's an Android phone. Um, photos that's been shared, messages, comments that's been made, and that's why there's Article 205. So this won't be a civil matter uh, like other matters. It will be a criminal matter, which we appreciate, because then we can get legal um, uh, uh, representation uh, through the state, so which which we appreciate. And through a civil matter, we've got legal representative, as surely as, as Neil De Beer knows, um, I've been in the High Court for about 15, 20, 21 times. Um, I haven't lost the case. Um, so he's more than welcome to try and challenge me um, because what we've said is not nothing vexatious or malicious. It's absolutely the truth. And we can go and look at his, all his videos. Um, how many uh, times has he chopped and changed his stories? Um, and, and, and that's quite a challenge. Uh, what I've said is I will remain adamant. I don't go and chop and change um, and delete photos and videos, what I've said and placed. Uh, Neil must uh, start being upfront and open and honest. The fact that he's a Christian um, is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But a Christian doesn't continuously uh, try and threaten people. Uh, you know, the one time he says, um, you know, he's, he's given his heart to God. Um, and, and, he, and he's not threatening people. You must take it on the chin, young man. If you want to attack people, expect it to come back. I'm not from the DA or Fraki or Stulki or Tafelki 
or Shuki, I'm not one of them. Um, understand that very clearly. And I told you from the onset, if you double cross me, or South Africa, or our people, I will become your worst nightmare. And I think I'm becoming that. Because you're struggling to sleep at night. That's why you always refer to me in your comments. Because you've got nothing good to say, other than when you needed me. And the nice message that was shared yesterday, where you thanked me. And it's all on, 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 on uh, YouTube and, and all those things. And we've got other messages that was done through Zoom and all those things where you praised me and you called me and my, a lot of other people um, that we are the bull terriers and we're the rocks in your life and suddenly we call idiots. Um, I think, uh, uh, Neil, you need to go to, for some psychiatric evaluation. There must be something wrong because uh, the one day you say something and the next day you say something else. Um, you, 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 you thrive on, 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 on negativity when you badmouth the likes of Steenhuisen and Peter Grunerwald, which is way above your league. Um, and you're only doing that um, to, to try and, uh, you know, discredit others to push yourself forward. You were part of the ANC. Why didn't you say to Ramaphosa's and uh, the Zumas and the Mbekis and the Mandela, which you refer to as a god, why didn't you tell them all these funny little things? Because everything went wrong over the past 27 years and you were part thereof. You were part of this communistic cabal. And suddenly when uh, you realized that you couldn't get a position that you applied for in 2016, 2017 uh, for a position as an, within the national executive and you didn't get it. And there's a reason possibly for that. Why didn't they give you a position? Because you were not qualified for that as a politician. And then when you thought, well, you're not getting that position and you're not getting your way, then you jump ship. And then first it was the National Party, then you jump ship to the ANC. When you don't get it right there, then you go back and you establish something else. And then you start abusing and misusing your people uh, to get to your end goal. Um, just remember, 12 or 15,000 followers on Facebook it's not a fully constituted political party with a national membership of millions. Understand that. There's some political leaders that on one call, they fill up a stadium. You're struggling to get 20 and 50 people into a hall. Uh, and don't blame uh, legislation for that and the DMR for that. You can't do it. Um, and you don't have a big following. You think you've got a big following. People are following you because of the nonsense that you're talking, because they love what you say. And because you're a single person, they think that maybe there's something um, cooking um, that they can get closer to you. Um, and, and, and with all due respect, um, I've got a lot of respect for ladies. I will not badmouth them and call them bad names, but they must open their eyes uh, because they don't know who they're dealing with. Um, luckily, some of us know, know a little bit more. Uh, we can investigate all these uh, matters if need to. Through, a, through a, a, a civil or a legal matter, we can keep you busy for the next 20 years so that you can't focus on your political party. Um, I would suggest that you rather focus on the business where you said that you're an economist and a president of a bank, which is all yet to be proved because I haven't seen where you're a president of a bank. Um, and a president of a bank is not begging for money all over uh, the show. Um, so what I'm just trying to say to you, Neil the Beer, is zip your mouth. Uh, if you can't say something good about someone, leave them. Go and focus on uh, the UIM. And, and there's a lot of good people within the UIM. A lot of good supporters, a lot of good followers. I just think that they are being influenced incorrectly uh, by someone which is trying to position themselves. Why? Uh, give us the financial statements of, of the UIM. Whether all the money that's been provided to you is going into, uh, uh, into a political party uh, and not into uh, the non-profit company which has been managed at that stage when I was involved with the UIM by three people. So that's questions that we are asking and that's one of the things that made you very uncomfortable when I started asking these questions um, about the logo uh, that was someone else's logo. Um, that was used and then just chopped and changed with the colors. 
uh, that's what one of the first uh, uh, questions that I asked. Secondly, I asked about the manifesto. Uh, thirdly, I asked about the constitution, the policies, uh, all those kind of things, which is in a normal situation, reasonable questions to be asked. And we did it internally. But when you went out there and started bad-mouthing people that put you on the map and, 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 and discrediting people that gave you the opportunity that you've got today to give you a platform because you were zilch. You were not even known in South Africa. Um, and I don't know whether you are so well known as you claim to within the uh, economy of the world and in Africa and all over the case maybe. Um, you love titles of, of presidents. Um, it seems like you, you're getting some satisfaction out of the, 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 the name president. Neil, let me advise you, titles means nothing, my friend. Absolutely nothing. Money and power means nothing. That's the strategy of the ANC. It's all about power and money. Uh, so they've taught you very well, and you're trying to inherit that and trying to enforce that into the UIM. Doesn't mean nothing. I've listened to your, your little speech this morning and claiming that it comes from the heart and it mustn't be about money. But why have you established the UIM PTY Limited, which is a business? Um, if you are focusing on the UIM and you want to affect change within South Africa, I've got the document. It's, it's registered with, with, with CPRO. Um, so, all that I'm trying to say to you is, Neil, if you can't say something good about people, I've never become personal. Um, I've never said anything negative about you as a person. I'm saying that you're a blatant liar. Um, I'm not referring to you as an idiot. I'm not referring to you any, in un, any other bad way. I'm referring to you as a blatant liar. And I stick with it. Because everything that I say can I, I can prove. And if we look at the comments that you've made over more than a year on social media and with individual discussion, there's more than enough proof that you're a blatant liar. Because you said on an international platform that I was re vehemently removed from the UAM, where opposed to your CEO SG said um, that the management company or the so-called Manco um, was dissolved. Uh, so I'm just asking these questions. And you like to close a WhatsApp group because you haven't got the guts to tell someone that is not on the executive, close it down and then suddenly create something else. Um, so please, um, if you've got something to say, pick up the telephone, contact me. I'm quite too prepared to have a, a, a discussion with you. Um, in person as well. I'm not scared of you. And I'm not intimidated by your KGB stories and your intelligence and your military background um, at all. Uh, uh, everyone makes mistakes, except that you also make mistakes. Don't try and, and sweet talk people that you, you've made mistakes, you're a human being. You continue making mistakes by bad-mouthing people. Leave the other political parties alone. Let them do what they are doing and, and, and do what you think and claim and aim to do. Uh, forget about the DA and, and, and John Steenhuis and, and Agri Forum and, and, and uh, Solidariteit and Freedom Front. Even the ANC and the EFF, leave them out. Go and prove them wrong through your actions. Um, and, 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 and what you are doing with ACT, we just need to find out whether it's registered with CIRA and whether you registered with CIRA um, as a person uh, wearing all these badges and generals and uh, guns and gas and running around with the police. Um, I tried to ca uh, call them this morning online um, and on your, for your Facebook page uh, I see there's, uh, there's a website without registration with a cell number um, and a young man, I don't want to involve his name, only his name on there, um, which I also see a notice that he's involved with the UIM um, and the youth. Um, you must give these kind of answers because that's questions that the public need to know. And the amount of money that you've got through donations through that company, yes, we believe it's, it's the right thing. But you always say that you follow the law. So um, I believe that, um, and I hope that uh, ACT is also registered then with CIRA, with the regulatory authority overseeing security companies. Um, but that's things that we will discuss um, and that we will look at. Um, I was also in the military. I was also involved with certain agencies um, assisting them. But that can't say that I'm claiming to be an expert. Uh, there are experts out there. 
uh, that can challenge these um, uh, initiatives. And yes, unfortunately, once again, um, the one of your insiders told us that it's not registered with CIRA. So, you know, we can always ask for polygraph tests uh, to be done, whether it was said and whether it hasn't been said. Um, uh, so I'm quite prepared to uh, see you in a court if you want to go that route. Um, I'm not scared of you. Um, understand that. Even if you're trained with the intelligence um, and with the KB, KGB, because one day I found you, I remember, and then suddenly you're talking in Russian to this person. Oh, sorry, you aren't just excuse me, and you were talking this funny language that I don't understand. It doesn't impress me, um, Neil. Um, I'm not scared uh, by these threats. Um, I'm not one of the political leaders, um, which you constantly harass on, on social media. And they, they don't retaliate because they don't have to retaliate. They are drawing crowds, millions, to the voters' box. Uh, you, haven't done, you haven't had one vote in your life. As a matter of fact, you weren't even voted into as president of the UIM. It was self-appointed. Um, not one of your, your uh, executives, including yourselves, were voted into a position of power. Not one of your councillors has been voted by the public. You were looking for, vote, for candidates the whole time, and then you appoint them. They weren't voted by the public uh, into initiative. So it's all, all little things that um, I cautioned you about. That needs to be transparent, Neil. Um, and... Unfortunately, you're not very transparent because, as I said yesterday, I reiterated, you'll love your own voice. Um, and it's all about me, myself, and I. So um, I hope that you get a listen and um, call me. I'm not scared of you. I'm quite prepared to debate it with you. Um, yeah, social media, uh, public platform, radio, television, wherever you want to talk to. Um, I'm not going to shy away from you like some of the political people. Uh, leaders that wants to engage you and then you can say to me I'm an idiot but let's then just test um, you know let's test ourselves um, strange that um, your communications director seek my advice and contacts and networks and your former chairman wanted to get my business model um, and the people that's handling your marketing um, wanted to utilize uh, idiots information and the documentation and the strategy and the policies um, must think twice Neil before you say something bad about someone um, we haven't started talking yet I'm just warning you once again keep your mouth shut if you can't say something good about someone zip it um, and then go down on your knees and then really pray to God if you can't pray properly I'll come and pray with you but I think there's still demons within you because you come from communist environment, even though that you claim to be a Christian and trying to impress people with the name of my God. I've repented many times in my life and I still make mistakes, Neil. But do not use God. You told us that you had to study the Bible as a KGB agent so you know what the Bible says. Do not play with God's name. He's going to give you a hiding. Watch out. And do not play with people's names. Bad mouthing people. Don't do that. It's my humble advice to you. Yes, you can address a political party if they are at fault. I've done that many a times in my life. But I do not play the man. I always look at the problem area. And as a so-called manager of the under 21 world cup you should know that you should know that you don't play the man but the ball god bless enjoy your day